It was my destiny to be the WWE champion. I want to represent every one of you. I mean, this match is over. With respect. This is not the mark of a true champion. With honesty. That's no way for a champion to act. I am a real champion. You are not a champion. I am tired of you bullying people because you say you can. And that golden destiny that you got your hands on, that makes you a Which man is gonna continue the illustrious heritage of the WWE title? Is it gonna be John Cena or is it gonna be Alberto Del Rio? Wait a minute! That's Del Rio's fly yellow Ferrari! I love John Cena's strategy. Kicking this thing off with a little mind games. Think you're the only one who can drive fancy cars down the ring. I stole your Ferrari. How's that make you feel? Ladies and gentlemen, this is about the WWE Championship, the most coveted prize in sports entertainment since 1963. And John Cena, the challenger, has held the title a record nine times. I can't believe John Cena stole Alberto Del Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car and drove it out here tonight. Oh, come on, Michael. It was just a joy ride. That car is worth $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. Collar and elbow battling for control. Ladies and gentlemen, Alberto Del Rio captured the WWE title last month when he successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank contract against CM Punk at SummerSlam. Yeah, but don't forget, Punk had already been laid out by Kevin Nash. And speaking of Kevin Nash, he held the very same title Del Rio and Cena are fighting for, the WWE Championship, back in the mid-1990s when he was competing as Diesel. Well, you're right. He beat the legendary Bob Backlund for the gold in a match that lasted a mere eight seconds. He then went on to hold the title for an amazing 358 days. Oh! He's putting those educated feet to good use. Nice reversal there. And another shoulder block. Big kick echoing around the arena. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. Just six days ago on Raw, we were treated to a very special tag team match when the legendary Red Hitman Hulk team with John Cena to take on Alberto Del Rio and Ricardo Rodriguez. Yeah, it's too bad that Del Rio wasn't around to see much of it. He hightailed it, leaving his personal ring announcer to take the brunt of the punishment. About Monday's tag match, yes, it would have been nice to see Alberto Del Rio actually compete in the match, but at the same time, I think the champ is simply playing mind games, wisely making Cena wait until tonight. Yeah, and making Ricardo Rodriguez suffer through an attitude adjustment and a sharp vintage Cena. Alberto Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a championship match with John Cena in his never-say-die attitude. Oh, you're right about that. This match is truly emblematic of Night of Champions. What we're witnessing here tonight is great! Alberto Del Rio says that he's going to change WWE forever, that he will replace legacies with his destiny. At this point, though, he's going to have to get through what looks like a very determined John Cena. Oh, that's right. The last time the WWE Championship changed hands here in Buffalo was back in December 2008 when Jeff Hardy defeated champion Edge and Triple H in a triple threat match at Armageddon to capture the title. That is actually the only other time Buffalo has played host to a WWE title change. Yeah, and back to Buffalo quickly, they had actually never seen a World Heavyweight Championship change hands until a few moments ago when Mark Henry defeated Randy Orton for the title here at Night of Champions. Mark Henry is an absolute beast. It oh, took yeah. him 15 years, but he finally won the World Championship. Congratulations to the world's strongest man. Oh, John Cena is like a machine on Alberto Del Rio right now. It's 
got to be taking a toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which man will continue the heritage of the illustrious WWE title. Will it be John Cena or Alberto Gabriel? Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this point. He'll do everything he can to give integrity to the WWE title. Uh-oh, trying to put him away. I don't know how much longer he's going to be. I've seen him, and I'll be moments away from victory. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, trying to put him away. Events like Night of Ladies and gentlemen, John Cena is now a 10-time WWE champion. Oh, that's great. Let me say it. The champ is here. Well, let's just savor this reaction for a moment. A picture is worth a thousand words right now. And John Cena celebrating like it was the first time he ever won the WWE title. You would too, Cole.